At least half of sexually transmitted diseases are attributed to same-sex uh, couples. I confess that, that I am a homophobe. Gays are not born that way. There is no genetic uh, route to it. Now, I'm a children. I'm a Christian. I'm going to invite our Christian brother to come up and talk to you. Now remember, this is a community who understands that our beliefs are different to theirs. We understand that their beliefs are different to ours. We are not forcing Islam on our Christian brothers and they're not forcing their religion onto us. We show love, we show compassion and we allow one to make their own decision. I'd like to invite some David Skinner from the Christian community to come and say a few words. First of all, uh, it's a great privilege to be here. I come from Bournemouth, so I've travelled up three times to be here and witness this. I think that what you're doing is going to spread globally, and if you are the beginning of the fight back. Uh, now, I might be stumbling, but I wanted to just uncover this word homophobia. You've been had. It is a hoax. The, the, the people who invented the word homosexual and heterosexual were two German gay activists in 1867. They coined the words homosexual and heterosexual. In other words, they try to make this a kind of new special being, a further stage of the evolutionary process. In other words, they were born like it. They were like a kind of different race. Uh, this was a trick. Gays are not born that way. There is no genetic uh, root That's to right. it. Now, yeah. anyway, what happened was it was regarded up until 1973 as a, uh, a mental disorder. In 1973. You know, you can't ask to be respected if you don't give respect. Let him talk. Let him talk. You can't jump to conclusions. Yeah. You assumed right now we were leaving, but we're not. We're not. Do you know what I mean? Don't jump to conclusions. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't jump to conclusions. Yeah. Thank you. 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 The homophile, as a genetic person, does not exist. It's a fairy person. I want to hear this what you've got to say. Homophile, just talking. A homophobe must be equally a fairy tale person. A homophobe does not exist. No one has been clinically diagnosed as a homophobe anywhere. But it's a weapon used against you to shut you up and make you fearful. Oh, I'm not a homophobe. Well, I must say, um, <laughs> I confess that, that I am a homophobe, in that I am frightened of what homosexuality does to the health, the sexually transmitted diseases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 58, at least half of sexually transmitted diseases are attributed to same-sex uh, couples, and they only represent 2% of the population. So they punch way above the weight. So you have every right to be fearful of the lifestyle that Moffat is leading. To. One last thing, I won't, I won't wrap it on too long. But uh, if I love the Lord Jesus Christ, we love him. If Moffat identifies him as a Christian, I'm not a Christian. That, no, that I you know, forget it. Uh, I just love the Lord Jesus Christ Thank you very much. and the Bible. Thank you. Thank you very much.